What the hell is this idiot doing? Oh wait, that idiot is me. Hello everyone, and welcome to my first episode of I Hate Working on Cars, featuring a very exciting cooling system flush. Try to contain yourselves. You know what? Never mind. Buckle up, buttercups. It's time for some backstory. This cooling system and I, you see, we go way back. And this here 1998 GMC K3500 with a Chevy grille, which isn't confusing at all, has always had a rusty cooling system. No matter how many times I've flushed it, the rust always comes back. But today, today I go to war. I'm going to flush this thing until I'm invited to Paris to accept its surrender. I'm also going to try using physics and some chemicals. It's a smorgasbord of bad ideas. So let's get started. As you can see, what I've done here is I've placed a tube over my upper radiator hose. This is done just for you guys. Yeah, so you can more easily see what color the coolant is as it makes its way out of the cooling system. And oh my god, look at this disaster. Ew, it looks like sewage. That's supposed to be green coolant, but instead it's a toilet full of Taco Bell. And it's spilling out all over the ignition coil. So uh, let me toss in this mud flap used to deflect the water away from that so my spark plugs don't end up lighting off poop bombs in my engine. I've got a garden hose now, feeding water into the radiator via the filler neck. And now let's take a look at what drizzles out of the engine block as fluid is forced through the thermostat and out the upper radiator hose. Yep, more post-Taco Tuesday fallout. Oh, check this out. This smoke indicates that I'll be doing another one of these videos to replace the valve cover gaskets, as oil is leaking onto the exhaust manifolds, which is not in any way a fire hazard. Finally, getting some clean water flowing out after a while. Let's keep an eye on the temp so we don't end up having to make a video about doing a Duramax swap. Now the system is flushed. I'm going to add some chemicals to the system. I tried to pick something pretty mild. There are some really super aggressive radiator cleaners out there and I wanted to avoid those. We don't want to fix one problem and create a new one. So I picked out this mild alkaline cleaner from Napa Auto Parts. Also, it was cheap and I'm a cheap bastard. I've reattached the upper radiator hose to the radiator and filled the cooling system with chemicals. And now we let it run for 30 minutes. While we do that, let's talk about the next project video, which is a radiator swap. I've been running this Spectre aftermarket radiator that I got, again, at Napa Auto Parts. And it's just not doing a good job of keeping the truck cool while towing. It's a good 20 degrees warmer than the factory radiator was. So I'm ripping out that cheap piece of shit and replacing it with this cheap piece of shit. But let's fast forward to my next t-shirt change and drain the water and chemicals from the system. And we want to make sure that we flush the shit out of the cooling system because we want these chemicals gone. But also, I'm gonna be using a combination of physics and laziness to try to rock the sediments back and forth out of the cooling system. The thought process now is, with the engine running, I want to flush clean water into the system. Once I have clean water pouring out of the radiator petcock, I'll shut the water off and let the engine come up to temperature as the radiator runs out of water. I'll let the engine warm up until it gets to the point that the thermostat opens. Once that's done, I shut the engine off and let gravity do the work of allowing the water in the block to drain out of the radiator petcock. This doesn't really work unless the thermostat is open. You could remove the thermostat, but I already established that I'm lazy. Here, I'll demonstrate the phenomenon with this metal straw. Now, you'll just have to trust me that there is simulated water in here, even though you can't see it. I would just use a plastic straw, but A, this is California. Two, straws kill planets. And D, I don't have any plastic straws because I'm a planet-saving superhero. I'm California man. But in any event, as California man lifts his finger off the straw, simulating the thermostat opening, you can see the water rushing out of the straw and all over my shorts. Mmm, it's tasty too. I repeated this process of run, flush, turn the water off, warm up the engine until the thermostat is open, turn off the truck, let the water in the block drain out, turn the water back on, run, flush, turn the water off. Warm up the engine until the thermostat is open. Turn off the truck. Let the water in the block drain out. Turn the water back on. Run, flush. This is the sound that doesn't end. Oh, no. 
I just did all of that until the water was running clean out of every orifice, and then I did it a few more times after that just for good measure. From that point, it's a matter of refilling the system with coolant and engaging in some bloodletting, but I'm not showing you that here because we are ready to move on to the next video in the I Hate Working on Cars series, installing a stupid aftermarket radiator. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, which means you are now required by law to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah.